Well, let's find the scale factor of the big triangle on the right to the wee triangle on the left. And I've got to find a pair of corresponding sides. The only thing I've got is this one. Remember, right to left, 19.8 to 9. So that's going to be the ratio of those two sides is your scale factor. But um, that's an ugly scale factor. I could take 19.8 divided by 9. But I want to get a whole number, a ratio of whole numbers. I like it that way too. So here's a trick. Multiplying, in this case, I'll just multiply both by 10. Get rid of that decimal. 198 to 90. Not very clean, but I can divide out common factors until I'm, I'm down to relative prime, relatively prime numbers. Um, eventually, you'll whittle your way down 11 to 5. You can first divide by 2. You might divide by 3. Maybe divide by 9. Or maybe you would have seen 18. I doubt that, but do it in pieces. You'll get to 11 to 5. And then you could, well, you could stay there, or you could also express it this way. The scale factor 2.2 really means each of these signs is 2.2 .2 times as big as their corresponding. Now let's use this in, in the next three exercises. Now let's use the scale factor that we calculated in the previous exercise to find the missing lengths of this triangle. That is, these two triangles, AC and DE. Well, there's two ways to do it. Of course, I'll show you the hard way first. Well, it's not so hard. It's proportions. You could do it this way. DE is to 8B as 5 is to 11. Where does that come from? Well, that's because remember, the scale factor is 11 to 5 going from the big one to the little one. Now, I could just think of it this way. If, you're, if you like cooking, 11 parts to 5 parts. But if, I'm, if I set the variable this way, DE is to AB as 5 parts is to 11. Hmm, that makes good sense. So DE is to 22 as 5 is to 11. I like that. Pretty obviously 10. And let's find the other one. That's this part down here. See, now I'm going to say, I like this recipe. AC is to DF, or 10.4, as 11 is to 5. There you go. See, it's still kind of using proportions. And the cross multiplying, blah, 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 and get this big, ugly number. All right, that was the harder way. And that's not so bad. Here's the easy, easy way. Look at the sign. You want to find DE? Okay, well, actually, let's do this one first. AC, we said the scale factor is 2.2. So there you go. Take this. Take your 10.4 from over here. Multiply it by 2.2. What is that calculator when you need it? Anybody see a calculator? I see one right there. Okay, so I take my 10.4. Multiply times 2.2. That's, hey, oh, oh. Back up, back up. I said 10.4 times 2.2, and that is exactly what we got. Not so bad, is it? Now, it's a little different if you're going to go the other way, because the scale factor that we're using, the 2.2, is this one to this one. So you could do it this way. I could just say that this side is 22 where that come from? That's this side, divided by the scale factor 2.2, which you don't need a calculator for that. You know, that's also 10. So that's how you do the scale factor, multiplying or dividing. Or you can use the scale factor in these whole number ratios. Either way, it works. And um, I'd have to chalk that one up to personal preference. Well, now we're really moving along on this exercise, number 25. I want the altitude of the larger triangle. I could just say altitude is to 8 as 11 is to 5. That scale factor we came up with. But yeah, I'm getting tired of that. Let's just do it the easy way. It's 8 times that single number, that 2.2. That's a scale factor. Let's just give that a shot here. Where's that calculator? You see a calculator right there. Ah, 
Okay, so I'm going to take my 8, and I'll go times 2.2, and what do you know, 17.6, 17.6, that's my second altitude. And now I guess we're going to find some areas. We've got base, we've got altitudes, and we've got bases. Okay, now let's find the areas. In each case, we've got the base and height of the triangle. Remember the formula, right? And we've got the scale factor two ways, the 11 to 5, and I've got the scale factor this way. We're going to try to make some sense of this. Because I'm going to just, the old plug and chug, base and height. I'm using base, oops, height, and I'm going to get one area for the wee triangle. For the larger triangle, ew, more decimals. Decimals galore. Decimals everywhere. So, that's yeah, going to be ugly. So I've got this area. Now, I'm not going to try to turn that into some kind of fraction with whole numbers like 11 to 5. Look at those two numbers. I think it's time for the calculator. Let's see what we can do with these two numbers. I'm going to take the, the 201. See, I'm going to see them both right there. Take the 201.344 and divide by 41.6. So the area of the big triangle divide by the area of the little triangle. And we'll get a single number ratio, just like we did with a scale factor. And ready, go! Oh, but we did not get 2.2. Because the ratio of the areas is not the same as the ratio of, of the individual sides. But uh, it's time for a little magic. And I don't know how you were supposed to find this unless you read ahead in the book. But I'll show you a little secret. I need more calculator here. Ready? Ready? Go! Square root 2.2. That's your scale factor. <clears throat> what that was showing us was that the ratio of the areas of this triangle so this triangle was this scale factor squared. Don't worry, we'll see it more in the future chapters.